Well, hello guys, welcome back. So the fox bit down, the fox bit hard, and the fox got something in his mouth, and he shook his head back and forth, and he ripped it all to shreds, which was so lovely. And the wolf helped. And the wolf was, like, basically dropping C4 down the poison well, going, Watch this, my dear, this is gonna be fun! Boom! So, <laughs> uh, a couple of videos came down, and the gods answered my prayers, because I had misgivings, okay? And I did a search today, and somebody came up on the subject, and guess what? This motherfucker is friends, best friends, with one of the most fucking out-of-control people in Northern Paganism. I'm like, both of those wells were poison well. I'll be goddamned. diddly diddly do. So, <laughs> I'm like, that fucking frees me. I am liberated. If you tell me the w the well was poisoned, I'm like, that fucking explains a lot of shit. That fucking does. That well was so fucking poisoned. That fucking explains a lot of shit. I will hopefully recover at some point. And I'm like, it's like a veil has been lifted, and even though it's kind of windy outside, it is kind of sunshiny, too, even though it's raining. So I'm like, the angels are coming down from the heavens and singing, and the wolf blew the well up with C4. I'm like, I'm so fucking happy. At some point, I'll just throw all those books away. Because I was like, you have misgivings. And sometimes when you think you're being called somewhere, you're not. And sometimes people will take advantage of that fact. And this was like over a decade-long struggle altogether, guys. It was not just like two weeks or something. And the wolf blew up the well of C4 and looks very pleased with himself. And the fox looks very pleased with himself. Because I was so frantic and such a bad feeling in my, my heart chakra and, like, the pit of my stomach. Which was, like, trying to go down to the center of the earth. I went, I could not hear any of the gods. And I went to Loki's altar where I keep my pendulum. And I picked it up and it was already starting to go real fast. And I'm like, okay. I said, you ready to go, buddy? It starts going faster. Like, we're inventing the world's smallest theme park ride. I said, should I take those videos down? It almost flew out of my hand. I'm like, good enough for me, buddy. So I took them down. I apologize to you guys. It's not me to judge your path. You know, you do you with all, you know, my all due blessings and peace and light and yada yada. But Loki was like, this is not for you. And when I found out both fucking wells were poisoned, I was like, I'm liberated. I'm free. I can go running. So... It's just one of those things I never felt right doing. I never felt right doing. And you should always do the right thing. I don't care how much of a fucking call or a draw or you think you have to be there. If you don't feel right doing it, if it doesn't feel right in your soul, you shouldn't do it. It's like a lot of us used to go to church. A lot of us used to be Christians. And we might have not had a problem with God or Jesus, but that church, man, that, that just grinded our gears and wore down our soul. And we didn't believe the teachings. Maybe we believed in God or Jesus, but church teachings, not so much. So it's one of those same things. You have to take yourself out of a environment that's unhealthy for you. I don't, and I know how hard that is. It's very hard to leave the church, for example, and, you know, because they've taught you they are the only ones who have control of God or Jesus or the angels or saints. It's very hard to leave the church, for example, and maintain any kind of relationship there. Though it can be done, because there are Christians that believe you, you just need God. You don't need a Bible, you don't need a church, you just need God. And it's hard to reach that point. And it's hard to reach that point with any other culture, too. Especially when the people who it is in the financial interest of keeping a chokehold on something will say, this is ours, you can't have it. And, you know, if you feel they have a legitimate claim, let it go. Let it go. If it's meant to come back to you, you know it will come back to you. If it's not meant to come back to you, it won't. And this kind of freed me from any kind of pull I felt. I was, like, filling this bowl and filling this bowl. I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with me? And then I'm like, oh, that well was fucking poison. I drank poison water for, like, the longest time. No wonder I was feeling weird and pulled in five billion different directions. And once that happened, just kind of everything settled itself down. There are just people out there that, you know, they'll put money before integrity, unfortunately. They will put making the almighty do dollar and telling you what you want to hear. Their gurus, unfortunately, come in very subtle stage sometimes. 
and they will tell you what you want to hear. And that unfortunately is not healthy or productive. It's it's not. So, you know, I figured we'll just take those down. And we were looking at some really cruddy, crappy, turkey-themed games for you guys. But I'm like, that's problematic itself. You know, some people really get traumatized over Thanksgiving. I mean, we're going to have Loki's giving tomorrow. We are going to go meet people for a Thanksgiving meal. And yes, they're going to say a prayer. But for me, the day is not about that. And then there are the people in the other extreme who think that Thanksgiving is a pagan holiday. Or it has something to do with Satan. So suddenly I'm like, oh, I wish we had a turkey. I wish we had a big turkey. So, you know, it's it's one of those things. But, you know, guys, if something feels wrong to you, run the other way. Especially I ran under the fox and the fox is just snapping his jaws at everything and tearing everything apart. And Odin's like throwing C4 down any remaining wells. And he's like, you're not drinking from any of those wells. So, you know, eventually I will throw out those books. I'm going to have to because I do not think it's right to take material you think is harmful or dangerous and put it in other people's hands. That's like taking a loaded gun and just randomly leaving it somewhere and may the odds be over in your favor. You know that's morally the wrong thing to do because you don't know that a right person is going to pick it up. It could be a bad person, it could be a child, it could be, you know, anyone. So I'm going to eventually have to throw that stuff away. It's just like, it'll come. It'll come in time. I'm not emotionally attached to it. It's just like I, I want to wait until I calm down emotionally and I can just all know when it's the right time to just go through and pick up all the poison books and just throw them all out and be like good because they're never going to magically become good. I'm never going to loop back around and say I was wrong after all. It's like no, they're 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 bad. They're wrong. For some people they might be the greatest books on earth. I'm like nope. So if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. And I am sorry to those of you, cut damn it, Loki, in your clock. I am sorry to those of you that liked it, but it's like, I I can't do that and feel morally right. I can't do that and feel like it's a good thing to do. If that's your path and you are at peace with it, you know, peace be with you. But I can't do that and feel morally right. I have to be always and ever honest with you guys and it's it's not like it ended well so if you like what you see like comment subscribe and i will see you guys later bye bye